Om Shanti and welcome we are doing the recording of 10th of August Kali Pesang. To die a life is something which we need to do on a daily basis when we are handling and when we are facing the impure negative world around us. Because people around us don't have the right intentions, right kind of thoughts. So we need to be very careful whether we have attachments, whether we have greed or jealousy with anything or not. We shouldn't have that kind of impurity within us. So that we are protected and we are safe under God's guidance and under His canopy. So God says, may you die alive and transform your attitude, awareness and vision with the awareness of your logic life. A logic life, that means something which is not of this world. Brahmin life is said to be an alogic life. That means where we are living for the next world, we are preparing for the next world, we are transitioning into the next world. And whatsoever is the old which we are using, we are using it for our own transformation into the new world. Which means that it is not like anything of this world. Let there be transformation in your vision, the way we look at things, in your awareness of things and attitude towards things, people and situation. Constantly have an attitude of brotherhood or brother and sister between the Brahmin family. All of us are here from the one family. God has created that one family and he's going to transition this family into the golden age. Have this awareness and in your vision, look at souls, not bodies, and you will then be said to have died alive. When we look at bodies, we actually have some form of desire from them, some form of wants from them, whether it's money, whether it's any carnal desires or whether it's any impure desires or whether it's some kind of desire of he's my relative so you better give me this. When you have found, when you have found such an elevated life, you cannot then remember your past life. That means past is gone. The deeds of the past are going away because our intentions are changing, our attitude is changing, our vision is changing. So our connections are also changing. The, the emotional connections are also totally changing. We're disconnecting from our old habits, old behaviors, and we're transitioning into new habits and new behaviors of not having any desires from worldly things because we're looking at souls, we're not looking at human bodies. We're not putting people into different categories. So this is what we learn. We only see the sanskars of the souls. We don't see the character on the basis of a culture or a caste or a creed. And we protect ourselves from being affected by any of those outer boundaries. So the best way to have a peaceful mind is to have the least amount of thoughts. So to have the least amount of thoughts, putting situations, putting people into categories is the worst way of going about it. And that's what we learn. Whether it's our relatives, whether it's our friends, whether it's our neighbors or whether it's anybody. It's important to be detached when we look at souls. And this is a beautiful knowledge which we learn from Akamari is for all of us to become peaceful and to become a one family of God the Creator. You too are most welcome to learn this beautiful art. Om Shanti with this.